Hey there, this is Carrie Clark from speechandlanguagekids.com. Today I'm going to be showing you my top productivity tools for speech therapists. People are always asking me, Carrie, how do you do it? How do you have a private practice and run your website and take care of your family? Well, I have a lot of tools that help me do that, and I'm going to show you my favorite ones today. All right, the first tool that I want to share with you today is Evernote, and you can get Evernote at evernote.com. Now, Evernote is a note-taking resource, and it, you can download it on your computer, you can use it online, you can download it on your phone or your tablet. Um, it's got all kinds of different features on it, and all of the different uh, places that you download it are going to be synced together. So if you make a change on one, it's going to show up on the other. I want to show you some of the things that I use Evernote for. I actually use this for a ton, as you can see kind of on the side here. I have all kinds of different notebooks that I've created and put different kinds of notes in them. I recommend using this to organize yourself as a speech therapist. So one of the cool things you can do is you can make checklists. So the checklist that I have up on the screen right now is an IEP checklist. I am, this is not a functional IEP checklist because there would be a lot more steps, but this gives you an idea. You can make these check boxes that you can check off and basically you're going to check them off when you get them done. So you write one checklist that is what you use for all of your IEPs and this tells you everything that you need to do and then as you get something done on it, you go ahead and check the box and you know that you've done that. So that way, if you're working on an IEP in a couple different sessions, you don't have to go back through and say, did I do the review of existing data? And you just know it's there because you already checked it. All right, so you can do that. And then you can also add people to notebooks and, and share files and such with them. Um, so if you wanted to share this with your coworkers, then you guys could be working from the same checklist. Then you can also uh, copy this checklist and use it again for another kiddo if you have another IEP to do. Um, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. So checklists are one really cool thing you can do with Evernote. You can also record audio. So this would be a recording that I did at an autism conference. So you, you can record the audio and then go ahead and play it back and be able to listen to that whenever you want. Obviously you can just take notes. So you have an idea for something, you go ahead and just write it down underneath the title of this. And the cool thing about this is everything is very searchable. So if you have, um, let's say that you are looking for something on Apraxia, you can just type in Apraxia in the search bar and everything that you've saved on Apraxia is gonna come up for you. The next thing you can do is attach documents. So um, this here is my uh, speech and language therapy guide, which is step-by-step -step lesson plans for speech therapists. You can use Evernote to hold on to these kinds of PDFs. This is an, an ebook that I wrote. And so let's say you purchased my ebook, then you could go ahead and stick it in here in your Evernote file. That way you can have it saved and you always know where it is. It's at your home. It's anywhere that you have internet access basically. And then you can also use your iPad to pull it up and look for the activities on your iPad. You could use your phone to look it up if you needed to. Um, you have all the information right there and then you can print from this as well. Um, this is really good if you are, if you use Teachers Pay Teachers to find speech therapy materials, which I highly recommend, it's a great place. If you're doing that, you're gonna be downloading a lot of stuff. You might as well save those into your speech language or into your Evernote file. And then that is going to allow you to search for those things and find them super easily. Okay, and then the last thing that you can do is you can take pictures of things. They have a document camera on here so that if you take a picture of a paper, it's going to, it's basically the same as scanning it into your computer, except it's super fast. So I took a picture of this selective mutism stages of social communication scale um, that I found and took a picture of it, stuck it in here, and you can annotate it and you can add notes if you want, or you can just leave it as is. Because if you go and search for something that is in the document, let's say I'm going to search for mutism, and over here are the things that came up. I have a note with ICD-9 codes that has mutism, but then if you look here, it found mutism in this document. So it will actually search your documents for um, words that are in there. Uh, it's, you can, um, I should say it will do that for most. Not everything that I have put in has been searchable, but most pictures I've taken have. And you can, if you want better searchability, you can pay for the premium account. But in general, um, the Evernote is actually a free resource unless you want the premium account. So there you go. There are some things that you can do with Evernote to organize yourself. I use this picture taking one for conferences. If I go to a conference, I will take pictures of handouts and that kind of thing. So I don't have to keep paper copies of everything. I'll just have it on my computer so it's easily searchable and I always know where it is. 
The next tool I have for you is speechpathology.com, and I use this one for getting CEUs, although there are a ton of resources on here if you want to check it out. But speechpathology.com is a paid service where you pay, I believe it's $99 a year, and you get as many continuing ed units as you want. And here's the productivity hack in all of this. If you do sign up for speechpathology.com and you come down here to audio courses, and there are all of these different CEU courses. They're all about an hour, and they all um, these are all audio formats. So you can download the audio of this, and you can upload it to your iPod, your iPhone, your smartphone, your whatever you have to take with you to play um, audio on. And what I like to do is I play these in the car on the way to and from work. And when I was working at the schools, I was a traveling therapist, so I played them in between schools. And I would play these audio files, and then when I got one done, I would go back into the office, and you just take a quick 10-question quiz. And once you get through that, then they automatically send your continuing ed units to ASHA, and it's all taken care of for you. You don't have to worry about a thing. So it makes it super fast to get your all of your CEUs that you need. Um, you can just do it in the car so it's not taking up any more time than you normally would have been spending. You just would have been spending that time driving. Um, and the other hack on that is if you are listening to an auto, audio file on a smartphone, you can actually listen at one and a half or two times the speed, which will make them sound a little bit fast. It sounds like they're rushing through things, but you can still understand the information, especially the longer you do it, you get used to it. Um, and that way you can get through an hour of CEUs in 30 minutes. So you can get your CEUs even faster. So I highly recommend using speechpathology.com audio courses and playing them on one and a half or two times speed to get your CEUs super quickly. All right, the next tool I have for you is called Phrase Express, and you can get that at phraseexpress.com. And this is a text expander for Windows. So basically you type a small shortcut and then it will fill in the rest of the text, whatever you have decided. So if there's something that you find yourself typing over and over again, this is an awesome tool for helping you expand that, uh, making shortcuts so that you don't have to type as much. So for example, I have one of these set up for my soap notes. So I will say, Johnny Soap. Oops, I'm sorry, I have to do it with a capital S, Soap. And when I do that, it fills in, was cooperative and compliant throughout the session. So I use that for the S part of my soap note. I also have one where I could say Johnny, and then I can say increase all, one word. And it says increased accuracy on all goals since the last session. So that goes into my A section of my soap note. So you can use it for short stuff like that. I like to use mine for emails as well. I answer a lot of emails with links to parts of my website. So I'll have a link like that where I type in autism page and it comes up with the title and the uh, URL for that. So basically anything that you're typing lots, you can shorten down into shortcuts. Check out this one. I can write progress note and bam, there's a template for my progress note. I just fill in the child's name, copy the goal over from his IEP, copy the percentage that he's doing it, uh, do that for as many goals as he has, and then I come down here and I write, I can write uh, making progress, and that will fill in information that says he's currently making progress. If you have any questions, let me know. Or I can say need monitoring, and this will tell the parent that I am concerned that they are making slow progress, but I need to monitor it for right now, and we don't need to do anything at the moment. Or I can write, need revision and it will pop in that he's not making good progress and the IEP needs to revi be revised and I will be contacting you to do that. So look how quickly I just made a progress note for my imaginary child using Phrase Express. This can save you, save you tons of time. It can also save you time writing IEPs. So let's say you are in the impact statement and you know that Johnny has trouble answering questions. How about if you write Johnny question delay. Oops, didn't spell it right. And that pops into Johnny demonstrates delays in answering questions. This may cause him to have difficulty participating in classroom activities, answering questions about book reading activities, and make it difficult for his teachers to assess his knowledge and skill acquisition. Now you only have to write that once and then it'll go into every IEP with a child with a question delay. So you could make one of these for all of the different kinds of delays and just pop in the sentences that are applicable to that child. 
So that is Phrase Express. It has all kinds of cool um, uses for it to save you time in typing. All right, let's pop on over to the ASHA website. Next, the next tool is the ASHA Practice Portal, and this is going to be really good if you are looking for research on certain topics. So if you go to the Practice Portal, you can come over here to the Evidence Maps, and it will take a minute apparently, but this is going to give you all of the, well, not all, but um, a lot of the current research on various topics, and they have it all really well organized. They are still in the process of creating this, so there are some topics that are not going to be on there. But let's say you want to look at autism spectrum disorders, and you want to look at some different treatment options, and you want to look at cognition and language. So it's going to pop up all of these different treatment options for autism, and you can go in and look and see which ones are research backed, what the research says about them, good and bad, it's all in here. Um, and you can use this to support your, your decisions on how you're going to treat and evaluate your students. And they have all different topics covered on the ASHA practice portal. So this is a good resource for you if you're looking for research on topics. Okay, my next productivity tool is for creating very cheap speech therapy materials. So what I recommend is you buy Highlights Magazine. And the reason I like Highlights Magazine is because they have educational activities built into these that are often very language based. So you can just pick one up and go ahead and do the activities from it and they work great for working on speech and language goals. Or you can cut them up and make your own speech therapy materials. So they have a lot of different kinds. This is just the regular Highlights Magazine, which is for like elementary age kids. They also have High Five, which is for early childhood. So all the activities are a little bit easier. And then they have things like the hidden pictures. They also have an infant one and all kinds of other stuff. So I like to get a bunch of different ones. And then we will either, whoa, I'm losing them all. We will either go through and do some of the activities from the book. And that way, um, if you get a subscription, then you have new activities every month coming to you. Or what I'll also do is cut out pictures and laminate them and we'll make our own therapy materials. So like I have these different scenarios and we'll either, I'll ask the child to either tell me what's going on with it. That works really well with um, articulation carryover if I'm trying to get them to talk about something so I can monitor their sound production. Or I'll have them make inferences about what's going on in the scenarios, make guesses about what will happen next. Um, here's a find it picture. These are really good for um, having kids describe something. So if you're trying to get some, l listen for some grammatical markers or get them to practice some he, she, there's all kinds of really good opportunities in these um, hidden pictures where there's a lot to talk about and a lot to look at. So that is creating cheap th speech therapy materials with Highlights Magazine. And if you go through my link, you can get free shipping for life on your Highlights Magazine subscription. That is an affiliate link, so I'll get a small kickback if you go through that. So thanks in advance if you decide to purchase through my link. My next productivity hack for you is a thing called Speech Buddies. And this is going to help you make faster progress in speech therapy if you are working on specific speech sounds. So Speech Buddies are a program of, or a system of these little tools. And these are help, used to help get a kid's tongue in the correct placement for different sounds. They have one for S, SH, CH, L, and R right now are the tools that they have. And uh, basically these use the, the principle of tactile feedback, meaning that you're giving the tongue some feedback about where it needs to be and that's going to help them produce the sound and get their tongue in the right place to produce the sound. So there has been a lot of research by Speech Buddies, the company, on their Speech Buddy sticks or tools. And their research is all super promising. They've had a lot of um, success with their studies that they've done. They've found that this increases the um, speed of recovery on speech sounds up to two times. And um, so there's a lot of research from speech buddies that they've been involved in. Um, there are a few studies that are independent studies at this time. There's not a ton of it right now that's not performed by speech buddies themselves, but the uh, smaller studies that have been conducted independently are showing really good results as well. Um, and then there's also tons of feed or tons of research on tactile feedback as a tool, not necessarily these tools, um, but just in general using tactile feedback that really supports this as well. So. Um, just a little bit of background on research there. There is some research to support this. You can check all that research out on the Speech Buddies website, and I'll give you a link here in a minute. Um, but let me just kind of show you how these work. So if you take one of these tools, it's going to have some little points on it, and those points, this end right here, is going to be, sorry, 
this end is going to be where the child is supposed to put their tongue and you put it in the mouth so that the teeth go right here at the bend and then that's going to put this in the correct placement for the tongue the tongue is going to tart that's the target the tongue is going to touch the target and then produce the sound once the tongue is in that position so this is the L stick so I would go la and I would be able to make my L sound in the correct position. So that's just kind of an idea of how these work. These are a great tool to have in your toolbox, especially if you have some kiddos with some resistant problems that they're having really having trouble getting the sound, or if they are just not making progress fast enough, you can definitely use these and that will help. Um, I'm not gonna say that it's gonna 100% work with every child and that you're just gonna be able to stick this in their mouth and they're definitely gonna be able to say the sound, but again, it should be a tool in your toolbox and it will definitely help with some of your kiddos. So um, these are the Speech Buddies. If you go through my link for Speech Buddies, you can get $15 off of your purchase and I will get a little kickback as well because it is an affiliate link. So you can reach that at speechandlanguagekids.com slash speech buddies and thanks in advance if you choose to purchase through my link. Okay, the final tools that I want to show you today are the tools that you can get on my website. This first one is my speech and language therapy guide, which is step-by-step -step lesson plans for teaching speech and language skills. I have one pulled up here. You can see this is how to teach irregular plurals. It has sample IEP goals and this list of the steps. And then it's going to give you one lesson plan for each step of the process. It takes you step-by-step -step exactly how to treat each problem and it provides you with a place to collect data and worksheets that you can send home or use to practice in speech therapy. Next is my all-in-one articulation program and materials kit, which has an articulation screener, speech sound flashcards, and then step-by-step -step instructions to take you all the way through how to do articulation therapy. And it also comes, there's the screener, it also comes with flashcards and worksheets for all of the different speech sounds. Um, there's just a ton of stuff in here. It's all ready for you to print out and use for articulation therapy. Also, there is my Jumpstart Your Late Talker program, which is an eight-week program that you can use at home to help a child improve, especially those kiddos who are late talkers and just need some basic strategies. This is great pa parent training, or you could use it in speech therapy as well. There are lesson plans to teach vocabulary words along with some great speech therapy strategies included in that. And you can find all of my programs and ebooks along with free games over at speechandlanguagekids.com slash products. Finally, I want to show you my membership site. This is a website just for speech language pathologists, and it is designed to give you resources and information that you need to make your job easier. So this is my video library that's included with the membership. And as you can see, I have three webinars here, three full length training videos. These uh, range from 30 minutes to an hour. And I do one of these per month, and it's free for members. You just get to hop on and have this free webinar. And then down here, you can see these are all shorter videos, and I have them categorized. Basically, every day, every weekday, I answer a question from a member, and I make a video out of the answer. So you can see here I have, I think I have between 60 and 70 videos up right now, and another one going up each weekday. So I have a ton of information in here, plus I'm answering your questions, and you get access to my Facebook group, and um, also you can ask people questions over there and those monthly webinars. So this is a really good resource if you're looking for more information on how to help your kiddos, especially those really tough cases you have. So you can find that at speechandlanguagekids.com slash TSTS for the speech therapy solution. All right, that's all the productivity hacks I have for you today, but I will be creating more productivity hacks for speech therapists. So if you would like to be updated on when those come out, you can join my mailing list. Just go on over to my website at speechandlanguagekids.com and over on the right-hand side here, you'll see a button to subscribe to the mailing list. Go ahead and sign up and you'll get a ton of awesome emails, including exclusive, exclusive information for speech therapists about how to make your job easier. So head on over there and subscribe and check out the website while you're there. Thanks so much for watching and have a fantastic day.